all just a fake? Here, Ukrainian actors are supposedly staging a Russian attack on the civilian population in Ukraine. At least, that's what the Russian embassy in Madrid claims in a tweet. If the atrocities of the Russian military do not exist, they must be invented, it says. The video went viral with more than 1.2 million views. But what does the video really show? It actually is a film production, but it's quite different from what is depicted. You can see that it's actors shooting scenes for the Ukrainian war movie Region of Heroes, which is being produced in the Kiev suburb of Hostomel, among other places. We found stills from the shoot and the clip itself from the film set, as the producer of the film confirmed to us. So there's nothing fake to see here, only a movie production. And the tweet from the Russian embassy in Madrid was later deleted. As the war in Ukraine continues, the combat on a second battlefield is increasingly important, the fight for trust. Russia targets national and international audiences with a massive propaganda campaign that works on different levels. Let's take a look at some examples. First up, on Russian primetime state television, the Russian Duma deputy Alexander Borodai claims... Понимаете, когда напротив наших батальонах оказывается польский спецназ, то очень быстро становится польский понятно, спецназ? что это штатный да, польский не спецназ не Гром, да, а не какой-то другой. False. Poland has repeatedly denied such claims. This move would have high stakes. It would mean Poland and therefore NATO would have entered the war, marking a significant escalation. A spokesperson for the Polish Ministry of Defense wrote in response to a DW query, this is absurd fake news. And Russia has not provided any authentic evidence of Polish units fighting in Ukraine. Any evidence they did provide were fakes, like this alleged order from the top Polish army general to mobilize. Several international fact-checkers found out it is photoshopped. Russia's propaganda is by no means intended to influence only the Russian population. Many fakes are aimed at an international audience. Let's take a look at an example that hits close to home. This alleged DW News video reports on a criminal refugee from Ukraine who is said to have blackmailed women. Petro Savchenko allegedly blackmailed dozens of German women. The video claims he would publish pornographic pictures of the women recorded with a hidden camera after he met them in bars. But the video about the alleged criminal refugee is fake, and we can confirm it's not a DW production. The font used does not correspond to DW's design standards. Here, you can tell the difference by looking at the letter X. Also suspicious, the name Petro Savchenko does not lead to any corresponding hits when searching online, and no media reported on the alleged incident, which is unrealistic in such a case. A spokesperson for the Federal Criminal Police Office in Germany told us that the office isn't aware of any such case. The video was professionally created, and experts believe it was produced by Russian troll factories. If we're talking uh, about the context of Ukraine, that's the thing that we have been researching. Many things are indicating to the Kremlin. I mean, not maybe the Kremlin itself, but the actors who are supporting uh, the Kremlin, who are working for them, the Kremlin media, etc., etc. Videos like this one are called spoofing which is when a digital identity is faked in order to gain credibility. And this has happened to other media outlets as well. This video looks like a BBC production and went viral after the Russian missile attack on the Kramatorsk train station in Ukraine. It claims that this crashed missile was fired by Ukrainian troops at their own population. The BBC immediately objected, calling the video fake. BBC producer Joe Inwood, who covered the missile attack for the BBC, confirmed the report was not genuine. Here, the design was copied, but some internet users thought it was real. It's like um, trying to build trust wars in this. So basically, uh, Telegram channels uh, tell them that, hey, if you don't like trust us or like Russian media, here is the BBC telling you the same. So basically, it's an external validation of, uh, of the things that they are trying to promote. 
and amplify. Russia's propaganda campaign is trying to justify the war and its consequences to a Russian audience by portraying the West as inferior. And lately, we've seen a shift towards new topics, like the energy crisis in Europe and the sanctions against Russia. This report by Russian state television shows a food bank in Germany whose number of customers has doubled since the war began. It is also claimed that Germans link the decline in their standard of living to the sanctions against Russia. We found the original video from the Bavarian Broadcasting Company about the food bank in Nuremberg. It does report increased demand at the food bank as a result of increased inflation due to the war, but not a word about the sanctions against Russia. Some things are only slightly changed or taken out of context. Others are freely invented and are almost comical, like this claim from Russian state television. On the main news show, the presenter tells us that bacteria, scabies, mites, fleas and even lice are spreading in Europe right now because people don't wash themselves because of the energy crisis. Europe is rolling back to the Middle Ages, the anchor says. Neither at the national level nor in the data of the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control do we find any vague evidence to support this wild claim? For parasitic mites, loose and flea infestation, infestations, we are not aware of any significant increase uh, in the EU. Deceive, confuse, manipulate. Propaganda is meant to pull us to one side of the war. Probably the most remarkable misstatement of this war, however, comes from the Russian president himself. However, this statement is in stark contrast to reality. The massacres in Bucha, the bombing of the Mariupol hospital, the use of cluster bombs in Kharkiv. The list of attacks on civilians is long. The cases well documented. The facts contradict Putin. Nevertheless, propaganda almost always achieves one goal. It sows doubt, divides and manipulates. How can you recognize propaganda? You can find all information about this in our article about debunking propaganda or you can send us your questions at factchecking at dw.com.